Hello, so this is going to be a very brief video in answer to a question that came up on the Moto forums from Debbie, who was watching the tutorial on Lux TV created by Ryan Drew for Moto 401 on how to rig up a channel hall controllers to drive morphs. However, it's changed a little bit with Moto 601, and I'm going to show as well an alternate way of doing the rigging that I prefer using the schematic. So here we've got a, a scene loaded, the old man with morph maps, which comes with the uh, included with Moto's content. So I have that loaded up, and if we look over here, I've got the mesh selected. If we look under lists, we can open up the morph maps, and we can see all the different morphs that are supplied. So we have angry, happy, Spock, and sad. So let's go ahead and create uh, morph influences for these. And we can just select the morph map, right click, say add a morph influence. So because I've just done it for angry, you'll see that it's created a new morph influence item up here. And I'm gonna immediately rename this. And I'm just gonna call it morph angry. So I know what this is. Now we'll go down here to happy, right click, add morph influence, uh, rename this, call it happy. And we'll just do one more. We'll do Spock, add morph influence, rename, and call this Spock. Okay, so we've got these three uh, morph influences now and you can see because they're separate items I find and they create this this locators that we see in the scene as well I find that kind of clutters up my scene a bit so what I like to do is just add a uh, group locator and I'll call this morphs and then I'll just drag all of these guys into that group so this way we can we can hide them uh, when we don't need them and quickly access all of our morph influences. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here to the setup. So in the old video that Ryan did, he used this palette, which is the uh, channel links palette, uh, loading driver and driven. But instead of that, I prefer to use the schematic for most things in 601. So I'm going to show you an alternate way of doing that. I'm going to select this item. I've created this item. And if you follow Ryan's video, basically it's just a locator where he's changed some of the uh, display properties. So I've gone ahead and already done that. And now we're just going to add over here under properties, user channels. We're going to add a series of user channels to this locator. So we'll add a user channel, call this happy, and we'll make it a percentage. Uh, with a minimum of zero and a maximum of 100. Add another one, which will be Spock. And add another one, which will be Angry. Okay, so now if I go over here to the Channel tab, I can go to the bottom and just Shift-click to select those three different channels and now we've got them down and drag them so that we've got them over here in the schematic. Now we can go and get the strength from each of these morph influences which is right down here at the bottom under the channel for the morph influence so we'll drag in this strength, uh, this guy drag in that strength and finally the angry strength. Okay. And now you can see where the naming is really handy that we did earlier because we can tell right away uh, which one is which. If we wanted to keep them in the same order, we can shift things around in the schematic. Okay. And then we just wire them up. So just click and drag across, happy to happy, Spock to Spock, angry to angry. The final thing we'll do is we'll select the item here, go over to the assembly tab down here, and say, uh, set this command to uh, item channel hall. 
And that means that as soon as we click this, it'll pop up the channel hall for us automatically. And now we can do our happy or Spock, sliding that, or angry, or some combination of the two or three. You can blend them. And that's it. Hopefully that was helpful.